What's up, guys? Real Dr. Jin here, board certified internal medicine. I'm so glad that you continue reviewing Dr. Gray with me. I enjoyed a lot. How about you? And for those who open this channel for the first time, I just let you know this is Dr. Gray and this is anatomy. And this combination brings us a lot of fun. We have a lot of interesting case. We pointed out a lot of inaccuracy in the medical dramas. If you enjoy this funny and educational doctor's reacts, please share with your friend. More people joining us, we will have more fun. And today we are going to review Grey's Anatomy episode 8. To save patient or to save the baby? Transfusion, not transfusion. That's a very difficult decision. Our first case is coming. Let's take a look. A 17-year-old female hospitalized for excessive bleeding status post root canal. Also had a significant new heart murmur associated with fever. Now a fever along antibiotics. Patient had a root canal and later developed a fever and had heart murmur. That is very typical for infective endocarditis. What's the connection between root canal and endocarditis? Theoretically, you may have some bacteria goes inside the blood when you do the root canal. And this bacteria can travel to the heart, colonized in the valve. Slowly, slowly, it grows and damage the valve. Then you can hear the heart murmur. Ooh. Whoa, this root canal sounds very risky. Is it? Not really. The endocarditis after the root canal treatment is real, but it's rare. The most common situation who developed endocarditis is the drug user. When they push in the drug into the vessel, they bring in a lot of bacteria. This bacteria travel to the heart and then causing this endocarditis. And because they do it again and again and again, the risk go up and up and up. So you don't need to worry much about root canal treatment. If you have a normal heart, the endocarditis after root canal treatment is very low. Mr. Duff? Mr. Duff, are you okay? And I'm telling you, someone on the fourth floor is gonna die. Code blue, fourth floor. Code blue, fourth floor. That's amazing. That's beyond my knowledge. But I can explain the code blue to you. Usually when you have a patient went to cardiac arrest or respiratory arrest, we will call code blue. Usually we have a rapid response team in the hospital. They can get to the patient's bedside very quickly. But remember, if you see this kind of situation, first thing to do, chest compression and do it correctly. If you want to know more about the chest compression, you can check here for my previous video. Your door needs a bowel replacement. Oh, seems this uh, endocarditis already damaged the valve and the patient need a valve replacement. And we do have a lot of choice for the valve replacement. We can use the mechanic one, which require the patient to take the blood thinner lifelong. Another choice, we can use some valve from animals. The most common one is from pig. We call it pulsing valve. Stevo can't take the blood thinners necessary to maintain a mechanical heart valve. We're suggesting a porcine valve instead. Porcine? Yeah, the patient cannot take blood thinner. So the only choice for her is pulsing valve. Ball sucks down 87%. Bag of two. Oh, Dr. O'Malley is doing intubation for the patient. But something's wrong. If you look carefully about this tube, something's wrong. Did you get it? This tube is very soft. You can't go through the vocal cord without the help of the guide wire. Let me show you the guide wire. Da -da -da -da. This is the ET tube and this is the guide wire. 
This guide wire will support the ET tube successfully go through the vocal cord. And then you push some air through here and it goes to the back. The back dilated and stay below the vocal cord. In this way, this ET tube will not be dislodged. Okay, let's take a close look of this intubation. What you see here is the endotracheal tube. We call it ET tube. We need this ET tube to uh, go through the mouth, passing the tongue, and then cross the vocal cord. Ooh. It then goes to the trachea. In this way, we can use the ventilation to help patient breathing. But sometimes, clinically, we don't know exactly how deep we should go. We need this tip of the ET tube stay in the trachea. Then when we do the ventilation, it can ventilate both lungs. But clinically, sometimes it goes too deep and then it may go to the right lung. In that situation, we have only ventilation one lung. That is very dangerous clinically. How can we check that? It's in the esophagus. Don't you know an esophagus from a trachea? <laughs> it seems Dr. O'Malley placed this ET tube into the esophagus instead of trachea. Then, when we pump in the bag, all the air goes to the stomach, not the lung. So, it is very important to use the stethoscope to check if both lung is breathing after the intubation. I'm trying to kill this patient, Mama. With this stage of invasive carcinoma, surgery, chemo, radiation, and drug therapy are your only options. Can I wait until the end of my pregnancy? The pregnancy hormones will likely speed the growth of the cancer. That is true. This is a very difficult decision for the patient. This patient is pregnant, but she has the breast cancer. To save patient or to save the baby? That's a very difficult decision. Oh, none of these courses of treatment will allow the baby to survive. Mr. and Mrs. Glass, I understand how difficult this is. No disrespect, but like hell you do. What will be your decision if you are in this tough situation? Do you have some smart ideas? Leave a comment below. You're letting them put a pig, a freaking non-kosher trade mammal, into my chest, into my heart. If you give me a pig part, I might as well be dead. As a doctor, we not only know the medicine, we also know the cultures. Sometimes the religion can bring in a lot of more complicated situation. Like this patient, because of the religion, patient refused the pulsing valve. Another more common situation we come across in the clinic is Jehovah Witness. Because this kind of patient, they refuse blood transfusion. Sometimes we need to make a decision if patient's hemoglobin is very low. Transfusion, not transfusion. You're hot shot doctors. You'll come up with something else. As long as it doesn't answer to Wilbur and say oink, I don't care what it is. I'm 47, you know, I'm 47 and having a baby, which is kind of a miracle. Dr. Yang is doing the blood draw. That is inaccurate. In the hospital, usually we have the phlebotomist. Every day, they will help to draw the blood. Doctors do not need to draw the blood. But in some emerging situation, like the situation we talked about, code blue, in that situation, the doctor will do everything because that is an emergency situation. Decided to go ahead with the evacuation. We need to start chemo right away then. We'll get everything ready. Oh, seems the family choose to save the adult instead of the baby. Do you agree with that decision? I found a transplant option. At first, I thought maybe cadaver, but they're really hard to find. And then I realized Dr. Burke can transplant a bovine mitral valve instead of the pig. But the best part is, it's actually superior to the pig. It lasts longer. Yeah, that's a good idea for the patient. Patient will be saved without against to the religion. Dr. Crave seems to achieve a mission impossible. Good job. We've decided to keep the baby. My mom died of breast cancer when she was in her 40s. I have that cancer gene. So what do you think? Do you agree with this idea now? 
Frequent change of the idea sometimes make the doctor's life miserable, but we always respect the patient's choice. Now everybody is familiar with breast cancer, and we do do the mammogram to screen for cancer at the age of 40. But if you have the gene mutation or the family history of uh, breast cancer, usually we will recommend you to start mammogram screening a little bit earlier and more frequent. Some patients have a very dense breast, which is not good for the mammogram screening. Then we may suggest to do a MRI screening for the breast cancer. Look, if you want to live, honey, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, we respect the patient's choice. Dr. O'Malley, our patient's pulse ox is dropping. She's agonal. She needs to be intubated. This is inaccurate. When patient's blood pressure is dropping, usually we call the at least RRT, rapid response team, to come, not just the randomly grab a doctor on the corridor. Sats, down to 86%. Quick question, please. I see cords. Again, this ET tube does not have any guide wire inside. It will be very difficult to pass in through the vocal cord. This is inaccurate. Usually after we finish this, we pull out the guide wire. And check the lungs. Inaccuracy again. And the nurse is checking the breathing sound at the level of this. You should go lower to check in the breathing sound and make sure it's equal bilaterally. Very equal. CO2 detector mellow yellow. Oh yes, good job. Smooth moves, doctor. Kick ass. I can definitely feel what Dr. O'Malley feel right now. Very satisfied. Whenever we successfully finish a procedure for the patient, we feel very satisfied. That's one of the reason a lot of doctors to be the doctor. I'm your doctor. It's not my place to be happy. My husband and child are going to be together long after I'm gone. We've talked about it. It's our decision and that's okay. Everybody have their own choice, their opinion. As a doctor, sometimes we disagree with the patient, but we always respect the patient's choice. That's patient's right. Rabbi. Is that true? We put some milk-like thing into the body. That is right. That's called propofol. That's the medication for general anesthesia. That helps you go sleep and you don't feel any pain during the surgery. Does it be? Or no? Mo. It's not so important that it's happy ever after. It's just that it's happy right Good now. Good job, Dr. Burke. Okay, this is the end of episode 8. Let's have some cupcake together. I hope you enjoy this episode and learn a lot about ET tube and valve transplant. And if you like my review of Grey's Anatomy, please click subscribe. Make sure you turn on the bell and I will see you next Friday. Be happy and stay safe.